Welcome back guys, you are watching Pesex and in this video, we will learn the most simple and effective way to perform knuckle shot in PES 21. So basically a knuckle ball is shot in such a way that the ball has less spin or no spin at all. This is what makes the ball move in an uneven way. What I am trying to say was that PES 21 is the closest thing to reality which you can get while playing football on your mobile. The way every move is performed in PES 21 is quite similar to how it is performed in real life. Before learning how to take a knuckle shot while dribbling, we learn how to take a knuckle free kick. I know most of you guys might know how to take a knuckle free kick, but to learn how to take a knuckle ball while dribbling, this is very important. Guys, this knuckle shot is a bit hard and so I recommend you to watch the video till the end. Guys, if you like the video, please subscribe and comment because it means a lot to me and my channel. For the knuckle free kick tutorial, you need the player who takes the kick to have the knuckle ball skill. Okay, so after selecting the free kick taker, direct him that is aim him to any one corner of the post. The direction in which the knuckle shot moves is unpredictable and if you guys aim at the corners than in the center, there is more chance of scoring. Now I'll try and demonstrate how it is done. Make the player in line with one of the corners of the post. Draw a straight and simple line on the right side of the screen like this. Remember one thing if you are drawing a line like this, just hold for a millisecond at the end before releasing your finger. When you do like this there will be a slight bend at the end and this is to get a controlled shot. When you take this free kick you should mainly keep two things in mind. The first one is your distance from the goal and the second one is to control the speed and power of your shot. As the distance from the goal increases, you need to draw a more lengthy line and the speed or the power of your shot depends on how fast you draw this line. Guys always keep these two points in mind when you are taking the free kick. Not only the knuckle shot but this applies to any free kick you take. As the distance from the goal increases, you guys must try and aim higher than the post because the knuckle shot comes out much lower than expected. Ok I hope this is clear to you guys. Now we'll learn how to take the knuckle shot while dribbling. If you notice the knuckle free kicks we took, in these clips the ball does not spin or has very less spin when compared to other free kicks. This is how a knuckle shot should be, the ball should not have any spin. So that is why it is really hard to take a knuckle shot in PES. Here is how it works, the players taking the shot should have knuckle shot ability. Also you guys should make sure there is no player around you or your player is not out of balance. That is your player should have the complete control of the ball. If there are any other defenders pressing you there is a very low chance to the shot to come out as a knuckle shot. One more thing guys if you can reduce your speed it will increase the chance that you are hitting a knuckle shot. So do not speed burst sprinting is ok but try to be slow as possible. If you guys are planning to try this out, you guys must try this out in the practice mode because this is very hard to master. When you practice this skill for the first time, try choosing a player who does not have a rising shot because if the player has rising shots, the probability for a rising shot is much more than getting a knuckle shot. So here is how I do this. So I usually speed burst once to get this gap. Well just speed burst or sprint very little only to achieve the distance between you and the ball. If you speed burst or sprint longer, then the shot usually goes uncontrolled. Then aim using your directional stick at the post like this. When you do this, there should be a slight bend between the direction you aim and the direction your player face. Like this. Now shoot. If everything is perfect, usually the shot will end up as a knuckle shot. Guys this is really difficult for players who are not much familiar with this just keep practicing in the practice session or beginner modes to master the shot. Hope you guys found this useful and if you like the video please subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more.
ボールはカズー。ああいい展開ですね。シュート。ゴールメーター。いやいやナイスセーブ。いや素晴らしいですよね。ファインセーブですよね